welcome back. Another bad decision was made. What we have here is a C1500, not its K counterparts, of a 91 or a 92 1500. This is gonna be our new, our new tow rig for the race cars here. Uh, she's born with a 700 R4 transmission, which is the one that I wanted to. Uh, never been a, uh, a huge person for the 4L60s. Honestly, if I was gonna go electronic, I'd probably go 4L80 and just do the big dog. Um, but yeah, we picked this up on, I think it was Tuesday of this week, maybe even Monday. Um, but yeah, she's got the uh, 5.7 in her. Just a shot of the inside here. She's got the 5.7 in her. Good old 350 stuff. Pop the hood for you guys too. Hood already feels loose there. That's strange. There we go. Needed that hood latch there. Now maybe she'll release. There, that's the meat and potatoes of the bitch. Really honestly got this guy because the <coughs> old 350s I know quite a bit about and uh, they're just easy to work on look at all that room so used to working on boxers my entire life I never thought anything could be this good looks like you just put a brand new alternator on there too we got the Edelbrock air cleaner Looks like old cast manifold and old cast heads here. Have some uh, 383 cathedral ports that might actually fit on this guy that are some Vortec heads. I don't even think that these are the uh, cast Vortex to be quite honest with you, but it is the uh, <clears throat> toilet bowl injection. I mean, toilet bowl is all get out. If I, one of these days I'll take off this cleaner and we can look in there at the, uh, size of those four injectors too because they're just massive <clears throat> this is back in the old days of uh fuel injection just being whatever fuel you could get to whatever cylinder you just had to have it available oh man this seems like a bad decision right here looks like it was an sle i don't know if those are real badges on there it's got a nice little little bit of a headache rack on there. Do some work with this guy. I think she was just recently painted here as well. Sorry about the finger there. I think she was just recently painted not too long ago. This thing reeks of America. Anyways, I just pretty much, I didn't post this weekend and I'm sorry about that, but I just wanted to show you guys what, uh, why I didn't post and it was because we were picking up this fine this fine machine right here but yeah um, this is about it honestly uh, oh it's a I don't know if you guys know too but the difference in between a C and a K is that it's only rear-wheel drive so this is not a four-wheel drive truck but that's what we wanted better for pulling better for burnouts <laughs> Oh, it's locked. What's it locked? I don't know how to operate a door. Welcome to my backyard. Wife's garden boxes. Ooh, it's a nice sunny day. All right. Let's see if we can light this thing one-handed. It's gonna be a little bit of a Kenny Vloggins episode. Sorry about that. There she 
goes. You can't tell we love food. Let's see if we can get this thing to a high level here. One, one down. Job. We are gonna have some Nathan's hot dogs. Just got this thing. Really happy about it. Shit, that guy. Say burn, baby, burn. Char griller. Freaking, you know how we do it. Go check in the garage for a few. Man, we got drenched in here. We had about, I don't know, three, four, maybe even five days of rain. These are my sandbags that I got in the uh, in the truck here. MR2 is still chilling. Getting a little little bit of uh, surface rust just sitting here in the moisture <clears throat> with the bare metal exposed. Like I said, that's a very unusual thing for Colorado, especially this early in the. Uh, I mean, I guess it's late spring, but this early in the uh, in the summer, we usually don't see that much rain. I was, I was pretty taken back. It's it's pretty well got. Got a lot of my stuff all nice and waterlogged here. Might even try and sweep some of this out right now. I don't even know. Might just let it dry. That's what we got going on. We, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to get in here and do some non-filmed, super secret work on this guy. Uh, Top secret work, cause uh, man, I know I I I feel like I'm done making movies about scraping off undercoating, and we're ready to uh, you know get into this guy too. So anybody who hasn't uh, you know completely torn one of these down, you're gonna come with me, and we're gonna we're gonna tear at this thing, tear at it like a terrier with a chew toy. Looking for another T word there, but it was not coming. Oh yeah, we need to we need to dig at this. Why aren't we digging at you? I don't know. Look at that, it's just hanging there. Stuff. We got more stuff over here. I think right now we're oh, this is some some new stuff. Got the GM code reader that came with the truck. Actual module from GM OBD1 code reader, and I believe this is all the spider gears from the uh, from this guy. Oh man, there's some. That's pretty cool. Look at these. Look at these guys. Some of you guys are gonna know exactly what these are. Look at. That is that or prehistoric or what? I mean, I don't even know what size these are, honestly, guys. But jeez, wow! Got the power in the ground. I don't even know if there's signal on these guys. I think they're just on and off. I don't think there's any volt reference or anything like that. So neato, though. I don't know if you guys are the same too, but I love seeing super old <laughs> stuff like this. Look at the size of that. It's like a carburetor jet. <laughs> this is just so ridiculous too. And I'm, I'm not even talking about, you know, the footprint of this guy too, that actual orifice on there. I don't know if I can get it here, but that actual orifice is humongous. 
man. And it goes all the way back in there, too. I think, uh... <clears throat> I think these are some, yeah, these are definitely corroded. Yeah, these are definitely his old injectors. He he told me that uh, that he had only replaced a couple of these guys, two to be exact. Um, but uh, I'm thinking that's that's four right there. So this thing might have four new injectors, but we're I don't know. I I, I feel like we're gonna do. See what else? Oh, see, there's there's one of the spider gears just peeking out right there. There's one of the gears. Let's see here, and that's because this uh, this truck. I, I probably should have mentioned that too. Uh, that that this truck is a uh, uh, was that Burnout Rivals, I believe. Burnout Mayhem, Burnout Rivals, one of the two. But uh, he'd installed a uh, a Spartan rear locker in that guy um to uh you know do some better burnies and uh <clears throat> i can see all the way down in here okay sucks i can see the goodies down in there i don't think you guys can though anyways it's got a lunch box in the rear end a spartan lunch box so that's gonna be some fun stuff Look at whatever happened to those turbo brakes. I'm like losing stuff now. I'm losing my mind and I'm losing stuff. Did we put them up here? Oh, that's weird. Had some, uh, had some pretty decent brakes off this guy. Well, there's one of the calipers. 